This is a um, super invisible powder that's used actually um, for theft detection and cash, but um, one of the things we're trying to simulate is pretending that this is uh, black soot, just the type of same type of soot that comes off combustible and burning materials you would encounter in a fire uh, incident response. The initiative actually came to us right, uh, from the Palm Beach County Fire Rescue Department. They were very interested in understanding about how what they did for work was impacting their health, specifically how maybe being a firefighter or an EMS uh, responder may increase their risk for cancer. One of the things we were trying to do today is figure out is there a way we can demonstrate how maybe cancerous materials are transferred from a fire incident response uh, back to uh, the fire station and personal vehicle. And so today was really a teaching exercise and a scientific exercise of trying to see how we demonstrate where soot represented by this invisible dye might be transferring from when they go to respond to a fire and come back to the fire station. So the goal today was trying to be able um, to identify can we feasibly show how soot is transferred uh, from a fire incident response uh, back to their truck and back to the fire station. As you start going through the different scenarios of post-decon into the fire engine, back into uh, the bunk, into the restrooms, um, back here to the coffee table, it starts becoming less visible to the naked eye. But that powder um, that is invisible uh, over chronic exposure could be potentially causing um, cellular changes that we just uh, don't know about yet. And hopefully through some of our studies we can start identifying those changes. really an eye-opening experience for us because I anticipated you know some demonstration of how much um, dye would transfer I, I didn't realize the the breadth and scope of how much dye would spread um, within the different uh, scenarios that we were shooting in as well as continue to transfer on after the first uh, fire engine truck so for me it was very impressive to see even um, some of the invisible dye transfer onto the bunks where they're sleeping at night um, even if it's a smaller quantity, you could imagine that low-dose chronic uh, exposure of this dye might be potentially increasing the risk uh, over time. We filmed today in the um, EMS's personal vehicle. You could easily see even fainter wisps of, of plume of, of dye on the ceiling as well as on the seat that were not direct contacts but were physically visible on that, suggesting that the particulate moves around. Um, so you might not visibly see soot, and in this case we got to see a dye, but that could potentially be increasing your cancer risk. The firefighter works as a as a fulmite and is transferring, you know, carcinogen from where their their place of work back to their personal home. So we had an opportunity to have a child with us today to be able to demonstrate maybe what happens in passing uh, some of that soap using a soccer ball. Um, so we were able to um, have a child play with one of the EMS firefighters with that soccer ball, and we were able to see a second degree. Uh, transfer of uh, this invisible dye, i.e. the soot, transfer from the, from the EMS to the soccer ball and to the child. One of the activities that I hope uh, arises from this video that we're producing is that firefighters are a little bit more cognizant about how hy hygiene is a very important aspect um, and decontamination is an important aspect of post-incident fire response because it makes them a little bit more aware of not only of the the soot that they bring back into the fire station but also what they might be taking to their personal homes and sharing with their families through secondary and tertiary contact of this soot um, on their on their own person and I hope that the firefighters see that as a, more, a way of crazy, creating an opportunity for awareness and discussion of how we uh, improve um, you know hygiene and decontamination within the fire service.